and founder of Hustlers Kung Fu, where your real, you know, real financial education begins. As you can see, I'm in a different location. Apparently, there's a party going on where I usually am. But today, well, you know, real financial education begins. As you can see, I'm in a different location. Apparently, there's a party going on. There we go. Let's see. Cool. All right, we're going to talk about how to pay off student loan debt faster. Seven steps, and they're life changing. Now, this will be a little radical. Actually, be extremely radical. Let's see. Now, one of the first steps is you got to accept this, which is what many people don't seem to want to do. I see a lot of folks who are writing their Congress people or not taking uh, responsibility for this stuff. The first thing is you can't bankrupt out of student loans. You can't, uh, you can't get rid of them. They will dog you until you're dead. So you got to handle them. So step one, your life's going to be hard until you get to a certain financial level where you can handle these. And I'm going to detail a plan on how to help you do that. Because so many people, and I want you to really think about what happened. Recently, a tax law was just put into place that the interest on student loans cannot be deducted. Once this goes into law, and more likely it will, in about two years, you won't be able to deduct the interest to student loans. But you think about that. So what is the purpose of petitioning or writing your single congressperson because until there is a collective will to change this it's not going to change i see it getting worse and i honestly think student loan debt is a form of indentured servitude so for you young folks who are listening to me if you don't have a clear-cut purpose for going to school don't go go to community college Get yourself a trade education because if you go to school and you get one of these nothing degrees, it can haunt you for the next 20, 30, 40 years. I want you to think about that. Uh, a lot of these student loan debts, um, loans are interest, they're front interest loans. And what does that mean? Let's say you have a payment of 800 bucks a month. About 40, $50 of that is going to go on the principal, which is the loan amount. And 750 something is going to go towards interest. I want you to think about that. For, and this is going to go on for years. You're going to be paying all of your interest on the front section of the loan for many, many years. And it's going to be kind of crazy. This is one of the reasons that student loans are so hard to get out of because the interest is at the front of the loan. And I want you to think about this. You're paying $750, $760 per month for 10 or 12 years before it starts to shift over where that's going to start addressing the principal, which is the amount of money that you borrowed. This is why they give these loans to any anybody with a pulse, because the concept of, well, they're very lucrative for the banks. They're extremely lucrative for the banks. So number one, Accept your situation, accept the responsibility, and no one's going to save you. You're just going to have to deal with that. I know that's some bad news, but we will have some good news as we go a little further down. All right, so the second thing, and this is the really big thing, you need to set income goals. Uh, many folks start a side business or a hustle just on air or hopes or dreams. You have to have written goals. You have to write down what you want. You have to write down how much you want to make. So I'm going to give you a scenario here. Let's say you have a job and you're making 35, 40 grand a year. You need to create a side hustle or a side business that has double your income. I know it sounds hard, but once you get started, it's really not that hard. Because let's say you want to throw an extra $1,000 a month on your student loans. 
because of taxes and other issues, you're going to have to make 2000 That way you can cover your taxes and take all of that money and put it on your student loan. And you want to do this because if you want to retire your student loan debt substantially early, you're going to have to pay. Let's say average student loan is four to 500 bucks. So you're throwing a thousand at it. You're paying an interest, but you're also paying a lot of principal. And just by paying the principal for the first year, let's say you got this 800 student, $800 student loan payment and you throw 1200 bucks at it. You essentially will bring down the principal during the first year about four to five or six thousand. Now, why is that important? Because once you bring down that principal, you bring down the interest that is front loaded. So it is really important that you throw as much money as possible at your student loan the first two years and it will seriously level off. Then you'll get to the point where you'll be paying 50% of your payment on the principal, 60, 70% of the principal. Now, how do you start these side hustles and these side jobs? Number one, you got to put on your big boy panties and your big girl panties and pick something lucrative. It cannot be something that you want to do. It cannot be something that's your heart's desire. This is, you gotta, it's got to be very practical. Uh, it's got to be a lawn service. It's got to be um, something that people want. It's got to be something that helps people buy time back. Uh, maybe you can be a painter. Maybe you can be, um, let's see. Any type of service business. Now, I have a few videos about service businesses. Uh, they're around here. Just check out the channel, how to start a service business. But yeah, it, it will not be something that you want to do. It will not be your, quote, passion. Because if you pick a proven business model, you can start making money instantly. Let me say that again. If you pick a proven business model, you can start making money instantly. And that's going to help you retire this debt. Now, here's another thing. Uh, it's going to be about a two to three year process. Now, you'll see immediate benefit by paying off your student loans, but you can potentially turn this side hustle into a full time business. But until that happens, you do not quit your job. You want to have your job to pay off your mortgage, your food, your bills, your job money pays your bills. All of this excess income goes towards student loans until you get to a certain point. Let's see. Uh, pick your hustle. Got to that. All right. So we're talking about scaling it. So let's say the first two to three years, you're making an additional fifteen hundred, which half of that money you can put towards your student loans. And that gives you money to use from your job income to live on. Now, once you get into year three, year four, that side business could potentially become your full-time business because this this is the number one reason that most small businesses stay small people do not want the responsibility of a larger business which is all well and good but if you don't take the responsibility of a larger business your income is not going to get any bigger essentially you could create yourself a side job that is just a job and then you quit your quote job for the man and then you're making maybe double income, but you still have the same problem. You still got these massive student loans. So you really work your business. I mean, this becomes a priority. This becomes a, you know, a very determined effort. Take passion out of it. Look at practicality. Look at determination. And you will see some results very quickly. But if you stay in this basis of I got to be happy because I mean, the thing with student loans is you've got people who are whose grandparents are paying their student loans. So someone put a comment that your student loan dies with you. That's not true. Some student loans, if someone co-signed. Even if you die, they're still going after that person for the money. And there's all of these, quote, programs and forbearance and forgiveness that they make you jump through so many hoops. And then you're still not really clear because let's say you get in the plan because your income is a certain level and then they crank it down. Well, if your income goes up, guess what? That comes back. 
So instead of trying to duck it, trying to dodge it, just take it by the horns and really, really become a real determined person and make a lot of money so you can retire the stuff fast. Now, if you pick the right business, car washing or something like that, you can literally really retire your student loans in four to five years. Now, the good news is that once you retire your student loans and you've been used to using all this income and keeping your job, you will have a lot of money to do other things once these student loans are gone. Uh, student loans are keeping people from buying houses. Student loans are keeping people from getting married. Yes, you've got two kids out there with $500 to $1,000 in student loans per person. How are you going to start a marital foundation when you've got $1,200 to $2,500 a month going out in student loans? That's asinine. That's crazy. But you have people who are trying to do it. And with that level of student loan debt, you're going to have so much stress in your marriage. It's unreal. All right. So now we're going to get into why you're building a side hustle. You need to treat your business income with the four to five accounts. And you also need to have the four or five accounts for personal. Budgeting will be key to you getting rid of these student loans very quickly. And in the beginning, it's going to be rough. In the beginning, it could be a year, it could be two. It's going to be rough because you're going to throw as much money at these loans as possible. But once you pick the right thing, once you're to a certain level, it'll level off and you can have a life. You can have money to do stuff and you have a lot of money to throw at these student loans. But that's usually going to start around the two year period. Or sooner for some exceptional individuals. I'm not trying to give you this stuff that is going to happen overnight because um, essentially this is one of the things that I did. I had the storage auction income to live off. Plus, I had some other side hustles that I didn't really talk about. There's a lot of stuff I got into. But I know that you can have two to three or four sources of income that essentially will pay all of your bills. Each one of them will, is capable of paying your bills. And once again, I'm saying start a business that makes, you know, thousand to $2,000 per month. So that's half of that money can go to student loans or maybe more depending upon your tax situation. But you've got to really, really crank it up to handle those situations. Uh, Forget about the job. That's point six. And number seven, you got to improve yourself because of the consequences of having such heavy student loan burdens. Uh, my sister, who graduated from law school, still has six figures in student loan debt, and she graduated law school 10 years ago, and she doesn't practice law. I want you to think about that 10 years ago and it's still six figures and she did not listen to me. She did not take my advice. She actually had a financial event where she won a million dollars. Yes. One, one million dollars. So even after all the deductions and stuff, you know, she, she could have retired that student loan debt easily. Um, she is um, struggling right now. <laughs> I mean, it is, really crazy how bad she's struggling and no I'm not giving her any money because she dug herself into this hole and she needs to get herself out yes you need to get yourself out because it is really really sad for you to have had as much money as you had and for you to be in this current position it's it's just disgusting really all right so I'm gonna get into the questions real quick Hold on. All right. So let's see what we got in here. The Wild Jones report. What's going on? What's up, Edward Wells? E Rock. The Sheiky Jones. That sounds like a movie name. Conscious Ether. DJ Slink. Sterling Hartfield. Flying Cheetah. I love that name. 804, what's up? Kareem, what's up? What's up, D. Coleman? What's up, Catherine? Honey Bunny? Deanna? Johnny Walton? Tasha James? 
Good morning, Crump04. I have a master's in nursing and loans still haunt me, so I can only imagine how other people heal. Well, part of that is no one tells you to accelerate the payments. They're just like, uh, take your time, pay your loans um, you know, monthly when that is just going to kill you. What's up, Zola? Sharecropping is a sharecropping does. Honey money, student loans is one of the biggest mistakes I've made in my life. 20 years later, I'm still haven't paid them off. Wow. Chuck Diesel like a house. Yes, it is. Don, Dina Lee Morrison, I was told by my lawyer a way to handle these legally. <clears throat> well, I don't know what your lawyer told you unless you're a teacher or some other profession where they forgive a certain percentage of your loans. But the way that I understand it, there is no way out other than to pay them. Tasha James, student loans are financially raping me. <clears throat> wow, how much is your payment? And Dina, uh, Dina Lee Marson, if you can get credit cards to pay them on a credit card, then file bankruptcy. <clears throat> okay, so you owe thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars of student loans, and then you use credit cards to pay them, and then file bankruptcy. I really think about that. Really, really think about that. Most folks are not going to be able to get the limits big enough to pay the student loans. So I don't really see how that's going to work for a lot of people. I can see how I can work on a practical level, but I also can see how it's going to be amoral or immoral, whatever you want to call it. That is, yeah, because what you do is you convert the debt from student loan debt to credit card debt. I totally get it, but you kind of stay in the same boat because you got to get some very high limits to pull that off. So, I mean, it's optional, but I just don't like if you got like a hundred, like my sister, I think she got one hundred fifty thousand dollars student loan on that out for her, and the average person is coming out of school with thirty thousand dollars for student loan debt, and a lot of these people are not graduating. They're not graduating. Can you understand that? So I don't know. Seven hundred a month is payment starting in January. Tasha James. All right, Tasha. So this is really geared towards you. Uh, what's your total student loan debt? Because I'm going to tell you, your seven hundred dollar payment, you're going to be paying six hundred and forty or fifty dollars in interest for years so what you want to do is pay like 1400 a month or a thousand a month because a thousand a month will actually start digging into that principle and believe it or not let's see um that will reduce because see your interest is calculated on the principal so the larger your principal stays the the more interest you pay so if you start like 300 bucks let, let's say you did a g did a thousand that would um, do a lot because uh, 300, say so 350 on principal. So that's like four grand the first year on principal. And then as your side business scales up, and let's say you can throw $2,000 a month on this. Even with the high interest, you're going to still be putting over a G on your student loans and really knocking down that principal. So you will knock down in two years almost 15, maybe 20 grand in principal. So that is a lot of money. That's an incredible. I mean, like, what is your student student loan debt? Honey bunny and student loan interest accumulates daily. So the sooner you get the principal down, the better. Good morning, Lance. Broderick, man, going to college was one one of the worst. It was where the mistakes started. It felt very pressured, though. Uh, once again, if you're a young person watching this right now and you're very unsure what you want to do in life, do not go to college and experiment with these high interest rate student loans. What you do is say, mom and dad, I'm not going and I'm not going because I don't want you to struggle. I don't want to struggle. And until I figure this out, because the thing is, uh, let's say you go out, you work two, three years, you figure out what you want to do. Then you can go back if you need to, because. 
I did the calculations. Once you take out doctor salary, engineer salary, you know, these jobs that you must go to college to get, the income differential is nil. It's one of the biggest lies has ever been told that going to college graduates have higher. In no, no, it's not true. Dig into the data. Just go to uh, the census, go to all of these jobs and pull out accounting jobs, pull out engineering jobs, pull out doctors and see what the income is. It's disgustingly bad. What's up, Christian? What's up, Kendall? Uh, let's see. Uh, what's up, Milton? Honey Bunny. I read that people in their 30s and 40s are paying twice as much as student loan debts as their parents were considering inflation, but all that income equivalent didn't increase at all. Oh, it could be two to three times because here's another thing. Let's say you put your student loans to forbearance. You can intentionally pay three times as much on those student loans because the interest does not stop. They just don't come after you. Yes, the Shiki is wow. Broderick, nobody feels sorry for her. <laughs> yeah, Christian, it is that. The Shiki Jones love the shirt. Cool, you can get one. I'll talk about that later. Uh, what's going on, Vibra Love? Frozen Creative. Howard Gilbert. Emperor L. Bay, what's up? Amber Cunning, Maureen. Emperor, I'm on board about getting these debt squashed out. Like the simple thing with debt is you got to make more money. This is a tactic that most folks don't even appreciate or employ because they don't think they can do it. But you can start a business, yes, you, and you can make an extra 500 to 1,000 a month without killing yourself. An extra 500 to 1,000 dollars a month is huge for paying off debts, getting your credit fixed. Um, Carl, how can I scale a clean hustle? Uh, for the scaling and all that stuff, I have courses. I will do a deal. Just give me a little time to get to that, Ricardo. Nice. Nice. Uh, G ranks, do you pay the debt of every time you get the money or you pay once a month? Good question, G ranks. If you pay your debt before the due date, um, this is a good practice to have paying all your bills at the first yeah. of the month because let's say you have a credit card bill and the statement cuts on the 18th. Well, if you pay your bill on the first, you start, you know, once again, you stop interest. The earlier you pay your credit card, the less interest that you pay. So, yeah, you want to actually do that or pay twice a month. Matthew, I'm not worried about my loans because once my <laughs> business starts bringing in more money, income, I will pay it off. Okay. Still, the, the tactic is the same, to make more money. Vibra Love, ain't no morals. I, I disagree with that, and I'm going to say why. Because um, if we don't have principles and we don't have morals, we're no better than the animals. There are morals, there are principles, and I'm going to tell you, there's a lot of people who believe in this, because if they didn't, this, this society we have, it wouldn't work. It really wouldn't work. I want you to think about this. Like you go, like I'm in the hotel right now. I'm in a room that someone else stayed in and I'm quite sure they didn't do anything disgusting or crazy because we live in a society where a lot of people care about what other people think and it governs behavior. So there are morals, believe that. Uh, Kareem, when you have multiple accounts for your loans, should you target the lowest one to pay it down first and work on others? You should attack the one with the highest interest rate, whatever that is. Whichever one has the highest interest rate, that's the one you attack because that's the one that's costing you the most money. What's up, Chuck Diesel? What's up, Tone Lee? Howard Gilbert. My wife paid payments for 75. Now they're asking her to pay nine home nine hundred dollars for 10 years loan forgiveness it sounds like she had some kind of forbearance or she went a long time without paying these loans i don't know the full details or she had um 
you know some of these student loans are just like these balloon mortgages you have a where you're only paying the interest and then they kick in the the principal later there's a lot of products out there so you got to dig into your loan documents good morning carol Uh, we're talking about student loans, Emperor. Do you go through a company? All right, uh, just to be straight, I don't have any student loans. When I was in school, I actually paid while I was in school, so I didn't accumulate any student loans. Whoa, Tasha. Wow, okay. Hear me and hear me now. You can start a business and you can get this paid off in four to five years or possibly seven. You do not want to be paying this 100K for 20 years because if you pay for 20 years, you're going to pay 300 or 400K. Do you understand me? You need to get this knocked out. Wayne Solomon, I have over 80,000 in student loan debt. Here's my thing. I'm going to find a few income streams, one to live off and three to four to pay off the debt. I ended up in debt because I had to take care of my mom. Wayne Solomon, hey, how we got here is how you got here. But once again, the principle is the same. You've got to escalate your income or this will. I think this is going to be a big social issue. Uh, a lot of people can't pay these loans. It's a bubble. It's. I don't think it's going to end well. A ball pool elite. My wife has 18,000 student loan debt, but thank God we both work and live on one income and we should have it paid off in six months if we stick to paying it like a large debt bill. That's excellent. Okay. What's up, Aunt Banks? You, you definitely got to escalate your income. And once again, there's a lot of businesses out there that can make you money instantly, but a lot of people are uh, elite my passion. It's not uh, something I want to do. I, I want to, all right. If you've got 100K in student loan debt, you cannot afford to be choosy or picky because unless you want to pay three hundred dollars to $400,000 over the life of the loan for $100,000, do you understand that if you get the stuff paid off sooner, the difference in interest is a house that's paid off it's business inc. I mean, it's so many things. So let me uh, get in here. Where are we on time? Okay, so we're we're good. Zola asked, 2015, more than 2.8 Americans have over six over 60 had outstanding loan student loans up from 700,000 in 2005 and that number is much higher today all right so i'm gonna do a little magic here i think i can because i'm operating with one hand uh let's see how do we do this all right cool Y'all get to see yourself for a minute. And then I go here. All right, so what am I gonna do for you student loan people? Because this information is not gonna be in the uh, credit bundle. Let's see, what am I gonna do? Hands down, the best course for you folks who want to start a business and get out of this trouble. Let's see what's the price of this. All right, so what I'm going to do is, all right, so I'm going to make 30 days to 2,500. This is for the folks who want to get out of the student loan debt, who want to start a business, this course will take you through the process of discovery, uh, what you need to do, what you don't need to do, how you need to get out of this stuff. So I will put this link under the video and I'll put like, uh, 
Let's see. Oh, no, no, I don't need that. I need that. That's what I... No, no, I don't... Ah, this is what I need. It's in a different place. Oh, let me put this down. So for those of you who need this, and I'm telling you, if you do this, it's going to help you start a business. It's going to help you figure out a business. It's going to help you scale up the business, all of that. But you're going to have to work. And you will keep your job. So I'm going to put this here. Let's see. All right. So I'm going to put this uh, student loan solution deal. There it is. It's 150 bucks, saving like 60%. And I'm going to leave this here for folks who got these student loan problems, who got these student loan issues. Make sure that's there. Yeah. So I will leave that there to help you folks out because this is real. Uh, th this is real. And, you know, uh, using myself, as an example, I live by this. Only thing I don't have paid off is my house, and I'm planning on doing that in two years. I know there's a lot of people who are not into this paying off stuff. Uh, be smart. Don't pay nothing off. Leverage, leverage, okay? Um, you know, if y'all just said forget Glendon Cameron and stop watching these videos and the income just dried up, you know, no one's coming to repossess my cars. Because they already paid for. No one's coming to represent this MacBook because it's paid for. Everything I have outside the house is paid for. And I got money in bank to pay that mortgage for at least three or four years, probably five. So having financial solvency is super important. Um, the hustler porn stuff, uh, the minimalist movement. All of this stuff is to escape responsibility, and responsibility is another word for success. You cannot be successful without responsibility. It's just not going to happen. Uh, totally, I have 50K in student loan debt. I feel like I got duped because even with a decent paying job and paying on it for 10 years, I still... Well, all right. Once again, Tony, you got to understand, these loans are front-loaded with interest. If you get a loan from a credit union, and I want you to know these terms, there's front end loans, which are front loaded with interest. These are your car loans, but most loans from the credit union are simple interest loans. You pay a lot of principal. You pay more principal than you pay interest on these loans. That's why they're so easy to get because the interest rate is crazy. Uh, book man flow, essentially putting yourself in a position to make the largest payment possible is the way to handle student. Yes, because once again, listen to Tone Lee. She's been paying on this 10 years and she's barely made a dent because for 10 years she's been paying 90 something percent interest without touching the principal. That is wrong. That is a scandal. That That's bad, but it is how it is. And once you sign all those student loan payments, and paper, you, you're on the hook because I want you to think about it. If you were 18 years old and you went in the bank and asked for a credit card with a $100,000 limit with no work experience, no income, they would say, no, player. But for a student loan, yeah, 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 here's more money, here's more money. Because they know they got you. You can't bankrupt out of it. There's nothing you can do. And going with uh, the putting the student loan debt, like if you got like 18, 20,000, $30,000, yeah, you can switch that debt to a credit card and then bankrupt out. What about this? Why about just making more money and paying them off? Because 
I don't know about you. When I had bad credit and I had a situation, I didn't really feel too good about myself. And I know that may seem uh, overly moralistic, and but it's the truth. And then I'll tell you, one of the best feelings in the world is when I bought that new BMW and I like I let the salesman go through his spill. And I said, would you take three to four grand off if I pay cash? And dude did like the mannequin challenge because he froze. You don't understand how good that feels. That that car was paid for before I drove it off the lot. And I don't have to worry about the snatcher man, the repo man, and all this other stuff. You sleep well at night. It's less stressful. So if you are in a situation, and we're going to talk a little bit more about other things you need to do. What's up, Michael? I had a private loan with a variable. I Oh, I assume. Broderick, definitely, because once again, these 18, 19, 20-year-old kids, they don't know what they're signing up for. They have no clue to what they're signing up for. All right, so some other little tactics that you can use to reduce your student loans. Now, I suggest if you have a car payment of $600, $700, $800, $900 a month, I suggest that you get rid of that cart if you can without taking the bath. Get yourself a car that you can pay cash for. Take that excess money and put it on your student loans. That's one tactic you can do. Uh, I will probably do some more stuff in the course. All right. There are no more questions. You know, I'm just putting out some information. I made a deal on the course. If you want 30 days to 2500 it's $150. The link is below the video. And if you do the work and you go through that course like a responsible adult, just don't listen to the stuff and just like, we I went through the course. No, go through the course and do the exercises. They will seem a little strange at first, but you do that, you will begin to see a change in you, see a change in your income. Electric beauty, mannequin Chandler. And he did. He just kind of like, because I called him because he was like, you know, you if you got a credit union, and I said, would you take four thousand off if I pay cash? And he was just like, huh? I mean, it really threw him. And he told me in ten years of selling cars, I was the second person to pay cash for a car like that. It feels good. Um, I can't wait to pay mine off. Almost ninety G's. Almost twenty years ago. I, Wow. What is your monthly payment, Electric Beauty? Sure thing, Donovan Green. Uh, Monica, I'm going to leave it up. Uh, this is the charitable Glendon. I'm going to leave that at 150 bucks because what I've done is, you know, for the Hustle Camp people, there's a lot of new courses that are coming. So I'm increasing their value so I can lower the price on this stuff and not impact them. So I'm going to leave it up for a while. I don't know how long, but it's going to be it for a while. And I'm not changing the credit thing as much as I want to. I'm not. I'm going to leave the credit, super credit bundle. It's $99.99. 30 days to $2,500. It's 150 bucks. That is well within the range of most people, even you, Broke Dick Danny. You touched the link and it didn't work. Let me see. Uh, hold on. Make sure. All right. Let me make sure that I got this straight. It works. I don't know what you're doing because uh, I'll actually show you. Because I, I get that a lot, and then I'll go in and hit it, and it works. So I don't really know what to tell you, and I'm not trying to be facetious or anything, because um, I get this a lot. Like, hey, I hit the link. It didn't work. And I hit the link, and boom, there it is. I, I don't know what to tell you, because it's working for me, because I know I did not have the, uh, the preview on there, because sometimes I do make a mistake, but I didn't make a mistake this time. So maybe you need to refresh your browser because it works. 
and I'm going to do it one more again. There it is. It works. So refresh your browser, maybe go to another browser or something. So that should work. Uh, uh, Glenn, you're on, I'm, I was young and deferring my payment. Don't, don't, ooh. Deferring your payment just divert, it keeps them from coming after you, but it increases your obligation tremendously. And they kind of say like, well, you know, the interest will still accumulate, like you to fully grasp what that means. If they were to say, well, if you defer this loan, you're gonna pay an extra 100,000, a lot of you would not defer these loans. Thank you, Bookman. Oh, the link in the chat. Well, go to, let me see, why didn't the link work? The link in the chat is the same link as under the video. Go under the video and hit that link and see if it works. Yeah, uh, you should be able to go under the video and hit that link. Christian, thanks for advice. I'm in process of moving back to Birmingham, Alabama. This is because I'm in crazy debt and I need to get, need to get out, including student loans. I mean, hey, if you got to move in with the rents, you got to do what you got to do. Uh, good morning, hustlers. I have about 40K in student loan debt, even though I used the GI Bill for college. Looking forward to knocking out this coming year. All right, they all work for Broderick. Cool. Yeah, because the thing is, I mean, seriously, I I'm not just uh, blowing smoke. You got to handle this or it will hunt you for 20 or 30 or 40 years. That's an incredibly long time for essentially four or five years of education. And when I was going to school and I, you know, I dropped out my junior year, I was able to pay for my school while I was in school. I mean, you know, just to be break real, I think college is a scam. And when I say a scam, you paying a hundred K for a degree that entitles you to work at Walmart or Whole Foods or Starbucks, that's a scam. That's just a scam. If you pay 150 G's for an engineering degree that lands you a $200,000 a year job at Google, that's worth it. Because you're going to be able to pay that loan off. Or you're going to make so much money. Those student pay loan payments are not going to mess with you. But if you are taking out a loan, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 G's for a job that pays 38 to 50 grand with the new tax rate. And once again, you cannot deduct the interest on your student loans, which is going to make you poor. If this current tax bill becomes law, all of those front interest loans, you're going to be paying an extra thousand to two thousand dollars. Well, you're going to lose an extra thousand to two thousand dollars out of your already meager earnings. You think these folks are trying to help you up in Congress? I mean, just look, look at what they do. Uh, Yvette Graham, hi, I have student loans for about eight thousand. Uh, yes, the link is under the video. I know there's like a 30 second delay, but the link is under the video and it works. Chuck Diesel, do a live on how to start a truck business. That's real easy. If you got a CDL, you've got like 80% of it. And like you get into the salesmanship where, you know, you need to have the book freight. That's, that's a sales course right there. All right, totally cool. Bookman, how can you, you secure credit cards? Are not gonna handle this problem, Bookman. That that's a whole different thing. This is why I just titled the student loans because this this is a credit issue unto itself. You cannot do anything but handle these loans. You can't bankrupt out of them. You can't you you can't get rid of them. You gotta handle them. I mean, that's just how it is. 
And Kuna, thankfully, I bought my my house with my student loans for only 18k. Now I can't refi because because they're at 50k for me to graduate in 2014. Huh? I mean, you mean 17? Wow. Yeah, student loans will prevent you from buying the house because they're going to mess up your income ratios. For most people, the biggest debt they have is student loan payments. You know, if your student loan payments, 200, 300, they ain't going to stop nothing. But when you crow, when you get past $700, that's $9,000 a year, player. Even on 50 grand, that's all, that is 120, that's 20% of your income. That one payment, that's huge. Flying cheat. I always felt bad about not going to school. I now know that wasn't a bad decision. I'm 24 and I bought my first house at 23. Once again, if you don't know what you need to do and you don't have a desire to do an occupation that requires you to go to college, do not go. Because the repercussions and the outcomes can be significantly greater and it impact you for decades in terms of you being able to do stuff. Yeah, I'm not gonna do a live stream on how to start a truck business. That's gonna be a paid product. So, cause I got a lot of folks who are truckers who are talking about the LLC and all this other stuff. Cause the thing is in the short, to start a truck business, you're gonna have to get a truck, finance a truck, and you're gonna have to learn how to book freight which is a sales position job, you know, which is sales. Yeah, you, you got to go under the video. Once again, for those folks who are coming late, the so student loan debt solution link is under the video and it will be in the first comment once this live stream is done. So you will be able to get to it. Uh, let's see. I'm killing I graduated in 2014, couldn't pay them down. Now it's 2017. Oh, yeah. I mean, look what it just did for you. It shifted your ratios. All right. So where are we with this? Oh, man, we went way over. OK, so what we're going to do. And I'm going to open this up. Okay, for you folks who need help with your credit, I got the super credit bundle, save 80%, links under the video, it works, and I'm showing you it works because I'll get people like, it don't work, but uh, it works. And then we will go with the student loan solution deal, which is 30 days to 2,500, links under the video, it works. So, and I'm doing that because I mean, essentially for you guys who want to start a truck business, 30 days to 2,500 will help you because it teaches you the things you need to do in the business. It teaches you the things that you need to start. It teaches you that stuff. So if you want to start a trucking business and get your own authority, well, it won't teach you how to get your own authority. That's a whole different thing, but it will teach you how to get started. It'll teach you sales skills. It'll teach you a lot of stuff about yourself. So. Just get on that. And also be sure to subscribe. Be sure to like the video. Be sure to give me your number so you don't miss any of these live streams. And leave a comment. All right. So that's the deal. Uh, thanks for joining me. I will see you guys tomorrow. And for those of you who are interested in London, check out my Instagram. Because that's where I put all the pictures. Let's see. I think you're going to see a little booty. All right. This is my Instagram. And you will get to see my trip in London and all the stuff I'm doing. This is funny. I went ahead and converted some dollars to pounds and I just had to do it because, you know, everyone's putting up money, right? That's essentially $500 in British pounds. So if you want to see my trip in London and all the stuff I'm doing, Go to Instagram. That's where to be. So thank you for joining me. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to give me your number and be sure to leave a comment. And I'm out.